posing is that instead of a wall, building a carnival would be more effective. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At the southern border. <laughs> and that's, you're not going to give us any qualifiers. No, no. I chose my language carefully. A carnival would, would be, be more, more effective, effective than a wall. Effective at what? Like, well, this is qualifying questions time. Okay, yeah. so you can ask me qualifying questions. Effective, that's exactly yeah, my Yeah, I'm going to say, is it effective? I at, chose the word effective. Think about what the end results are desired. Has more of an effect. <laughs> effective at, like, addressing the migrant crisis. Yeah. Or like the idea of border <laughs> security. Is that what you mean? That that general sense yeah, of like that's actually people... that's what I mean. Is that a carnival what what we think the wall well what some think the wall might accomplish, actually a carnival would be more effective. That's what I'm proposing. That that's what I want you to debate. I don't know. I haven't thought it through. Obviously, <laughs> it, I think this is such such a fertile ground for debate. <laughs> you can't butter um, her up again. You did this in the last time. You would again. Well, I'm just saying, Anna. No one thinks like the way you think. Well, you know, it's I've, brilliant. I've yes. had that thrown in my face a lot. Uh, um, any more clarifying questions? Um, is this so? You're talking like a, like a full like on three hundred mile carnival. Yeah. Is that how long you think the border is? <laughs> no, but like they during, on on the news, they were saying like a they wanted like a two hundred mile segment, right? Like, bro, because there's mountains. <laughs> okay, I, I'm I, I am just saying that where is it a long carnival? Okay. Or is one important carnival? Oh, yeah. No, I am saying brought. where in a wall might exist a carnival would suffice. You're it's a long carnival, that, and I love it, and I'm excited to explore. It's like a river walk of carnivals. Okay. I want to hear Ian debate that the carnival would be more effective. I'm so glad you chose me for that. And I'm going to make Nick argue that that is absolutely asinine. Okay, fine. I got it. I, get, I get what you're saying. Oh, are you so confident that you want to start? Do you want me to start? Um, I'll do rock, paper, scissors with you if you don't want to. <sighs> Only one it. round, On though. shoot. On right. shoot. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Nick's going first. <laughs> we literally tied. <laughs> We both did scissors, so yeah, you're right. They don't know. Oh, man. Let me set the scene for you. It's Friday night. You're 14. We could act the scene out if you want. <laughs> After I describe it. Yeah. Friday night, you're 14. Right? You're you went there with Wait, your... how old are the rest of us? Everyone's 14. Okay, okay. Not just... whole... Everybody is 14 right now. <laughs> in this area where we are. You're there with your friends. <laughs> They've walked somewhere off. To buy a funnel cake, or to buy an elephant ear, or to buy a big corn dog, right? You find yourself by yourself. You look over to the the balloon dart game uh-huh. at the local taste of your town name. <laughs> All right. So my case, taste of Lombard, mm. and is this taste of bucket? Bum. <laughs> bucket. <laughs> bucket, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's is unfortunately cream of Wheaton. <laughs> <laughs> You're there. It's Friday night. It's hot. It's a summer night. It's cream of Wheaton, right? You're 14. You look over. You see the girl that you have had your eyes on. Jeannie. Jeannie. <laughs> when you decide to make your move, let's. I want to see that. Ian and Anna. <clears throat> hey. Hi there. Jeannie, remind me where you're from. Oh, me. I'm from down the street as you in the cream of wheat. Oh, that's right. Uh, you're a ghost that I'm <laughs> attracted to. I forgot all about that. Yeah. Um. Hey, Jenny, I've been meaning to ask you, will you go to the prom with me? The 14-year-old prom that we all go to in this town? Oh, I've been haunting this corner for waiting to get asked. So, yeah. You've been haunting the carnival waiting to be asked to the prom? Yeah. As a 14-year-old? Uh-huh. Hey, that's awesome. Can you, like, have... Sex? <laughs> <laughs> See. <laughs> 14 year old. That's a good question four, a 14 year old would ask a ghost. 14 year old me was curious if ghosts could have sex. <laughs> yeah. uh, we love anyway, ghosts. We, we, we love, love ghosts. A lot of ghost talk, yeah. All that to say, I just wanted to set the magic of the carnival, right? That carnival summer night, it draws everyone, even if it's the most garbage carnival in the world. It's so true. Bucket or Wheaton, <laughs> right? <laughs> Take that carnival and spread it out several hundred miles across the border of the United States. This would effectively be the largest carnival that has ever existed Taste. at any time in human and you history. Just go to go, is that what you're saying? Like everybody's gonna go. Everyone is gonna go to the biggest carnival in human history. Here's the thing about carnivals. 
What is it? Please tell yeah. me. What is the thing about carnivals? It is real. You just described Easy. a carnival. Yeah. I'm just saying a big carnival, 200 miles long, has drawn everybody, right? Uh-huh. Everybody who is escaping the atrocities from their home communities, right? Everybody is escaping to go find some joy among their friends and of all the sexy ghosts. Okay. Now, listen, if I know one thing about a carnival is mm. that the security is lax. Mm. I got into Carnies. so many rides and played so many games without paying a dime Great. because you just hop in line and you get to go where you want. Great. Wow. You so, can tilt a world anywhere. Yeah. I tilted and whirl. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, I'm saying you're drawing a lot of people to one space and there's nobody <laughs> telling you where to go after that. It's not keeping people out. So when you're done with the carnival, where are you going to go? Back to your home atrocities? Or are you going to go find a better life? we got a lot to unpack here. Can I please go? (laughs) Wait, Nick. I want a very simple... The time that you took to explain what a carnival was. (laughs) You need 10 seconds to give me one statement about what is your point. (laughs) I'm lost. A big carnival will draw lots of people, and then there's lots of people who are going to go wherever they want, so it's not yeah. protecting any. Okay, Great. This, okay, I've Thank got a lot you. to say here. Number yeah. one, you presupposing that a carnival is better than wherever people live in Mexico, <laughs> in, in saying that they will want to escape the atrocity that is their life to go to a was, carnival. That was <laughs> That's <of> like... <laughs> Stupid. Uh, <laughs> secondly, who goes to a carnival? The carnies go to carnivals, and they all have guns and shivs attached <laughs> to them. Uh, and that's my statistic, is that 98% of carnivals are hyper-conservative, <laughs> shiv-carrying individuals, and that is known by every single individual so that true. resides in Mexico. Ask a carny. Um, okay, so that's my statistic. I'm invoking it early. Um, and for that reason, there will be a lot of fear. But I think uh, the primary reason um, that people <laughs> wouldn't want to go to the carnival from Mexico and the reason it's going to be a better defense against whatever the people who want the wall um, <laughs> not saying names no not naming names we're not going to stir the pot no, no that's not what we're here to do but uh, for for the sake of it the the reason it's going to be more effective number one it's going to be a lot less expensive mm-hmm. to then to build the wall which is like billions of dollars mm-hmm. you think of no ah, let me finish talk. I want to rebut that Let so bad. Fit. Well, you'll have your time. Um, it'll be a lot less expensive. Um, the carnival is called um, the Wall, so people will get really. <laughs> it's called the Wall Carnival, and so people won't want to go. So they will be deterred from coming. No, in the my first obviously place. the primary point is that. You said that after a carnival, people will, uh, why would anybody want to go home? At a carnival, what do you do? You eat a lot of fatty foods, uh-huh. and you drink, uh-huh. and you want to go home to your bed. So, <laughs> if anything, it'll make people like, want to go home yeah, even I'm more. Go their own bed. It's right. I've traveled hundreds of thousands of miles across difficult terrain. Yeah, yeah. So, like, okay. But so this, this beer is really making me sleepy. <laughs> it's, there's not a compelling enough reason to go to the carnival in the first place. I think the individuals with... Um, that are packing weapons will be a deterrent. And the fact that every single person who resides in Mexico knows that that's a fact, hence my statistic. Um, and uh, yeah, people will want to go home afterwards. They tired? Yeah. I went to the cream of Wheaton. Yeah. I got lazy tired and I wanted to go watch a scary movie with my friends. Yeah, I can understand that. Can I, can I rebut some things? Please. You said that a carnival would be cheaper than whatever wall people want. Are you telling me that like erecting barriers as a defensive measure, it would be cheaper than erecting 200 miles of Ferris wheels and Again, gravitrons. Where are you getting the number 200 miles? That's a number I picked up. That's I'm pretty sure how big the border is. How much do you think it costs for someone to build a, a, a concrete, a reinforced concrete wall? Here's my statistic 200 miles of reinforced concrete wall would cost around. Hundred grand, but we didn't say getting into the carnival was free. No, but it I'm might be generating a revenue. Ferris wheels Let probably cost maybe twenty thousand dollars. Actually, that's a fact. I'm claiming that statistic. That's, Ferris wheel is twenty thousand. Okay, that's so you're just saying a Ferris a wheel costs more than a concrete wall? No, less. Or it costs less? Okay, great. That's your statistic. No, I you messed up. It. I messed up. You said it it. costs more than a concrete. You said you said uh, a Ferris wheel costs twenty grand. Okay, fine. A concrete I'll wall this. costs but a Ferris wheel. A Ferris wheel is what, like eighty feet long? Yeah. All right. Now you, you gotta multiply. We'll do some math here. 
All right, so 20,000. So wait, 80. I get feet. what you're saying. It's more expensive. Two, how many feet are in a mile? 5,280? Uh, what? Yeah. 280 yes. divided by 80. So it's 66 miles. So you need 66 Ferris wheels. 20,000. 1 million 320,000 of Ferris wheels to block people from coming in. Okay. <laughs> in your carnival. Okay, great. Great statistic, Nick. I'm it's not lot. all Ferris wheels. Well, okay, that's number one. Hey, I'd like to see a house of mirrors. Think about that. I can make someone cheap. Turned around. <laughs> the staff. Okay, do you think they that... just might go back because they don't know which way they're going? <laughs> you get them on the Ferris wheel, you just roll them back where they came from. Yeah. Here's the thing. Do you think all those sphinxes and. Um, do you think they're, they're, they, these these carnival fair uh, attractions are, are at a loss for the large company that sends them to where they go? Do you think that they're losing money at every town? 100%. No. The, the answer is no. The answer is that carnivals make money. So which, people will go, which is exactly you what you said. Makes. You said no matter what, people will end up going to your carnival. Okay, I'm gonna, I want them to be happy. Of course. Okay. I also am not in favor of any of this, but I <laughs> believe that a carnival would be a better solution to this fake problem. So here's the thing about carnivals. They're family events. <laughs> Everybody wants to go with their family. You go with your mom, your dad, your aunt, your grandpa, your grandpa's aunt. You go together because it's a time to be together, to have some fun, to let the kids run loose, and for everybody else to get some fried gator. Mm, right? True. Yeah, fried gator. Yeah, it, it it brings out families. And one thing about a giant carnival that's bringing all the families is it's not just people escaping atrocities and leaving what's going on back in their home countries. It's going to draw people who are doing fine, who want to just have a nice weekend with well, their family. But so you're bringing more people to the border than when who'd be going in the first place. And when they're there, they're going to be looking and they're going to say, this is a nice carnival. Mm. But you know what? Looks pretty nice over there. Grass is greener. Well, you haven't addressed my statistic, which is that people who don't really care either way are just kind of going. They're going to be scared off by the people carrying <laughs> shivs and are, are like de defying their country's you know what? honor. To I will end. concede <clears throat> that 90% of people at local county fairs and or carnivals That's are scary. carrying some cheap samurai swords. <laughs> <laughs> and broken glass bottles and, and okay. pewter dragon necklaces. Yeah. Uh, I, you can each um, <sighs> declare your final statements, and then I'm going to make my decision. Okay, so I'm just talking about a, a, an awesome, literally m like world wonder size carnival, like the Chicago <laughs> World's Fair, is going to bring lots more people around, <laughs> and then they're going to want to stay. Okay. Okay. All right. If 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 I'm going to a carnival. The last thing I'm thinking about is, wow, I want to live wherever this came from. <laughs> <laughs> the the first thing I think is, this is the culture that I'm considering entering into. <laughs> Look at all these people with broken glass on their wrists, ready to cut me. Um, as we, as has been proven via my statistic, um, I I would not uh, in a million years um, let a let a carnival convince me to move to another land. From where I <laughs> lived, I, I if in, if anything, it would be motivation to stay where I was at the carnival. Yeah, no, 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 stay where I was before I went to the carnival. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Yeah. Well, um, that was hard fought on both sides, and Man, I, I had think to dig deep. <laughs> I think our country. I think we did a service to our country today by really diving into these. I think it was bipartisan. Absolutely. We that's why we served. Down. Yeah, that's why we served. Um, it was uh, sincerely, Ian, your final statement that uh, won you the case. Oh Thank God. you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I actually was leaning towards Nick, but what I wanted to hear from your side was how maybe a, a carnival doesn't force you to return where you came from, but maybe the carnival is ends up being better than where you thought you were going. <laughs> <laughs> the carnival... Better than you thought. <laughs> so, it's so good that you're what, like, wait, this it is wasn't better than argument, America. I would say it would just really compel people to live on the border <laughs> with a, like a perpetual carnival. Have you, ever gone, of. have you ever gone to a carnival and, and been like, whoa, wow, this is way worth the money? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Um, the Renaissance Fair. Hey, the Renaissance Fair. That was, that was great. Ren Fair for life. I missed the turkey carnival. legs. It was a nerdy carnival. Okay, if it was a Ren Fair, then we'd be... This would be a very oh, different shoot. debate. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, next time. <laughs> next week, we talk about a 200-mile-long turkey leg Ren Fair. <laughs> I'm the master debater this week. Well done. 
I'm honored. That's a couple wins in the basket for me. Keep, keep them in your basket. <laughs> See you next week. Bye.